It's no secret I've been a big fan of our friends at Triton Nutrition. Uh, this is currently my favorite protein powder in general. Yes, it's vegan. No, I am not vegan. If you've watched any of my uh, recipes, you know that, but that's okay. This is really good, especially for people who might have some allergies or problems digesting um, whey protein. And of course, it's also awesome for vegans. So Melody, if you haven't already tried it, you've got to try this. Um, its main ingredients come from peas, um, rice, hemp, chia seed, and cranberries. So somehow they've managed to get protein out of cranberries, which is really interesting. Now it doesn't taste like any of those particular things and you can see it's kind of a beige color. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite really simple um, protein shakes. Um, I don't even use a blender. Um, I hate cleaning blenders and it's a long story and I won't bore you with it but this is uh, these are both from Williams Sonoma. Um, this is their basic French uh, whisk and this is a really cool thing called a working jar. Um, they have little ones that are like this. I use them for refrigerator pickles, um, but they're glass and then they have these plastic lids. They can put them on and they seal really good. Um, I've turned them upside down and they haven't come out. So very good. The other awesome thing is when these get funky, you can buy replacements from Williams-Sonoma or I think also Crate and Barrel might have them. So, um, so I'm going to make this with three ingredients and it's going to be incredibly delicious. And sorry if you can hear the construction noises. My neighborhood is always in flux. I'm going to add some water into the bottom at first. This is kind of the secret trick. You know how you always get protein powder stuck in the bottom? Well this makes sure that doesn't happen. Now I'm going to take two scoops of this and hopefully not get it everywhere. So there's one scoop, two scoops, and now I'm going to add this other delicious thing, um, Vital Greens chocolate. Um, basically the antioxidant power of 20 plus servings of fruits and vegetables. It's also gluten free and it has a delicious chocolate flavor. As you can see, I've made a pretty good dent in this and should probably reorder very soon. So I'm going to put a big heaping help into that in my jar or glass or whatever you want to call it. All right. So um, I will post links to both of these products so that you can check them out. Um, and they're really you know, they're pretty good for just about anybody. They're very general. Um, I don't do too much with supplements, um, but today's very busy. So this is kind of going to be a meal replacement for me. So I just kind of get it moving. I don't know if you can see that. It kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, like a big mess right now. But all I have to do is sort of skim around the sides, give it a good checking there. And none of it is stuck in the bottom at all, which you can also use that same technique with blender bottles. Um, you know, put the little ball in there, add about this much water, maybe about an inch of water or milk or whatever liquid you're using, and then you put in your powders and whatnot. It keeps it from getting stuck in the corners. The worst thing ever is to get a nice expensive protein powder that you enjoy only to find that there's like you know a bunch of it stuck in the corners and the bottom and uh, I, I always get angry with that because I'm like dang that's at least 25 cents worth there in the corners all right so here I go no blender to wash all I have to do is rinse this out when I'm done I'm gonna go enjoy that now thanks <laughs>